What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have another Hidden Fates opening. We have another Elite Trainer Box. At this point, it's time for us to get that Charizard, that super expensive chase card. Uh, we do have a quick mail day, so this box actually came from the Pokemon Center, because at one point they did have ETBs in stock. I'm not sure if they still do, maybe they do. Um, but it was one of those things where it's like $50 is free shipping and this rung up to $49.99. Uh, so I had to add slap on one item and I did find a cute plush that, I, oh, that I've been wanting for a while. I will say I'm a little bit disappointed. <laughs> Here he is, this is it. He is a little tinier than I was expecting. He is cute. Um, I will say I'm a little disappointed, but he is really cute. I think they're like, oh, they're like six inch plushes. And I didn't realize that. That's why I like the tip of his horn down to his toes or something. So he's a little tinier, but I, that's fine. You know, I could put it like on my desk or something. So we're going to put this little cute little larvitar right over here. And uh, let's get into this elite trainer box. We are starting to get very consistent good pulls, still lacking many, many shiny GXs, uh, but at this point let's just kind of focus on pulling that Charizard as if that will make a big difference, but all right, we're going to have 10 more stabs at finding that Charizard GX shiny. Although prices are starting to go down, so picking one up through eBay or TCG player is becoming more and more realistic. Alright, so don't forget this awesome promo. I have enough, I think, that I'm keeping in these like sleeve things, so I'll start taking them out and um, putting them in perfect card savers. Potentially send this PSA. Because they're in the ETBs, it probably won't ever be like worth a lot, but that card is so cool. Definitely going to want, I think I showed this already, a number of those in PSA 10. And let's get into our first pack. We still don't have the Rainbow Birds, so we wouldn't mind that as well. I think we're still lacking many Full Art Supporters as well. But let's get into our first pack. Alright, we have a Fire Energy, Scyther. Jinx, a Graveler, Psyduck, Clefairy, a Magikarp, Ekans, Voltorb, Vaporeon, we have so many of these, and then a 3 8 Fighting Energy, not bad, we will take it for our first pack, so, wasn't a complete dud. If you guys have yet to join the Discord, definitely recommend doing so, I think, um, so actually today we did wrap up our uh, last Hidden Fates 10 giveaway. Congratulations to the winner. Video should have been out this morning. And I think um, maybe for we'll do a couple giveaways just through like the Discord. And what I was thinking is, especially when I'm getting like so many dupes, uh, just as kind of like one-off give. Ooh, shiny Rowlet, very nice. That is a cute one. I, I think Rowlet's cute and Decidueye is okay, he's kind of cool, but the Dar Dartrix, I guess what it's called, is kind of awkward looking. Actually a lot of, a lot of stage ones are kind of, uh, it's like you're in between cute and looking really strong, so it's, it's like right there when they're hitting their growth spurt I guess. But uh, we'll probably do some small giveaways on the Discord. And what I'm thinking is like, all right, here's all the ones I have dupes and like the winner is just like, hey, you know, pick the one that you want and I'll send it to you. Hopefully you can help some people finish up their collections and stuff like that. So on to pack number three. Ooh, Mewtwo GX. Not bad. We don't have too many of these. And then, all right, we're getting a lot of small hits. Nothing too explosive, but very consistent hitting a few points here and there couple reverse energies we will take those all day but let's get some of the juicy stuff now so hidden fate still as crazy as ever I feel like in my experience it's getting a little bit easier slowly 
you know, I do monitor the subreddit, the Pokemon TCG deals, and like it's becoming a little bit easier to to buy some stuff online, even though like they still sell out like in. I don't know, less than an hour or so, but if you pay close attention, um, it's very doable and it's only going to continue to get easier, um, in my opinion at least, you know, it's just going to keep printing this, uh, you know, the holidays, well, they're not, they're not far away, but they're not that close, but, you know, I see it, they'll just keep restocking even well past into the new year. Cosmic Eclipse, like, <laughs> I wonder which one will be stocked more. It would not shock me if it's Hidden Fates by Leaps and Bounds. Alright, I think we're about halfway through our opening. And we have a Zapdos. Pretty cool art. And then a Misty's Water Command. So we did get a Reverse Hollow. I also follow like the... Uh, just the straight up Pokemon TCG subreddit and like... You know, just seeing so many people's like sick pulls and primarily people's like Char's like, alright, come on, we can do this, guys. Let's go. Charmander, Psyduck, Mr. Mime for the rare. Oh! <laughs> I was gonna like make like a, you know, excited sound, but that was like an air bubble in my throat. I, so, another gold card. Super stoked about it, but this is a dupe. <laughs> This is like such a, I can't complain because like this is such a, not first world problem, like, you know, luck, pro luck, super lucky problems to getting dupe gold cards. Oh man. So we are, we have three guardians, but two of them are Bulus. One of them is a Coco that we pulled recently in a pack battle with Wolfie and D. Very cool card. I don't think I ever looked at this. Horn Attack 30, Nature's Judgment, you may discard all energy from this Pokemon if you do. Well, that's terrible. Um, very cool card, doesn't sound very good, but hey, we got another gold card. Our third of the Guardians, we have two or three, I think three stadiums. Luckily, we haven't pulled any dupes on that front yet. So, this was a very successful box. I think at this point we have like already, already five hits, but a couple more are reverse energies, but that gold card definitely makes up for it. We still have four packs left, so this is... Hmm, maybe from the Pokemon Center? <laughs> if uh, if they can kind of like rig some product, I would imagine it would be them, right? As opposed to some kind of distributor. We have a Golem. Oh my gosh, this is like... I think we recently got our best tin when we had that pack battle with Wolfie and D. This might be our best ETB. And uh, so now we're firing on all cylinders. Shiny GX that we don't already have, Galissapod, and this is a really cool one with the first impression. Uh, can just do like 120 right off the bat. Although to be honest, like once upon a time this was a good card, and when you if you say now these these days like, oh yeah 120, it's like, yeah nah, <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> Try again. So that's that's a good. Uh, I think it's a good example of like the power creep lately. Especially with the tag teams coming in. And like the tag teams are all basics too, that's crazy. Alright, I have not been able to play much PTCGO lately. Kind of apologies for that. Once I do have some, manage to get some more free time. Hope I do want to start playing again, get some good meta decks going, and have some uh, battles with you guys. A couple people have messaged me, you know, want to do like theme decks and stuff like that. I love that idea. Just trying to find the time at the moment. Jesse and James, just the hollow version, although we have plenty of the full art variety. Just need to organize our piles real quick. We still have two more packs. All right, this is maybe our best box. Two packs left. Can we get a little bit more? Hmm, if this is a really good card, it is off center. We have Water Energy, Farfetch'd, Brock's Gym, Giovanni's Exile, Caterpie, Paris, Psyduck, Charmander, a Magikarp, Weezing, Boom, another Shiny, we got a Gibble. 
this one is a dupe but i think on the shiny front since like we've always been pulling those pretty consistently i think we're not too far away at this point it will be difficult to fill in the gaps but definitely on the gx front you know dupes are kind of unfortunate because like there's so many gaps all right our last pack oh just a quick question to y'all like how many of you guys are still playing pokemon masters myself i still play but i kind of just you know i'll do a handful of missions every day make sure i get the daily stuff done get most of the events done and then kind of just leave it it's pretty boring but i am still playing i haven't really done many videos on it just because like my genuine interest is not really there but let me know if you guys are still into that coughing and this is our last pack we have another <laughs> mewtwo oh i wonder what the chances of that are and then oh just an ekans all right i'm pretty sure this is our best etb yet and it was absolute fire or not fire fire definitely is misleading but we did get obviously the stained glass birds and let's see we got a couple of energies which is you know counts as just about one hit but then we have two not one but two mewtwo gx's those are very solid. I think between him and Charizard are the... And if, if you're going to pull a GX, that's the one you want. Rowlet, very cute. I believe these are both dupes. But then Galissapod GX for the new one. And boom. Anytime you pull a gold card, it's a win. Even when it's a dupe. But obviously we're super stoked about that. Still want that Lele. Still need Lele and uh, Feeny. But either way... Mm, Pokemon Center, guys. Is there something there? Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, as always, guys, like, comment, and subscribe all down below. Join the Discord, follow me on Instagram. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.